Welcome back. We are here looking at the ETFs, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, May 12, 2021. If you like support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our new videos, and we'll start by looking at the ARK Innovation ETF. And as I said yesterday, this one's expected to uh, fall towards the 300 moving average and find support there. Well, we didn't get all the way down to the 300 moving average, but really close. We got to uh, roughly 99 and 200, 300 moving average down here at 95. So we'll probably get there. Uh, it, this, Even though we had a turnaround here, um, end of the US session, doesn't really mean that this will rally from here. It may rally up towards the 200 moving average and then drop again. The main reason for that is because this was just so oversold. So we're still oversold. We're at the nine, uh, 27 at this current stage, and we're still very overstretched here in the Bollinger Band. We are way out of sight of this, and therefore we basically snapped back. But but at this current stage, yes, rally from here most likely found major resistance at the 200 moving average or the 20 exponential that is going to cross the 200 moving average within uh, a few trading days if that continues. If you look at the other technical indicators, we can see the MACD is still very bearish. The CCI is still bearish. The stochastic is bearish. So yes, a pull by a rally here, but that was mainly due to the fact that this was so absolutely oversold. So this ETF has dropped. It actually dropped today roughly 38%. And that is 38% since basically this was the highs of 16 of February. Yes, that is an absolutely enormous drop for for just um, roughly two and two or three months. So yes, it is finding support at this current stage, but it kind of have to. If, if it falls below the 300 moving average, this will technically just fall apart. We can look at the Fibonacci retracements for this and see that one of the main reasons as well, we are having the 50 Fibonacci retracement right here. If the 300 moving average breaks and the 50 Fibonacci breaks, then we'll drop to the 61.8 Fibonacci retracement, and that's all the way down here at the 82. So that would mean from where we are at the moment, down here, that's 21% to the downside if this were technically to break. And, and after that, it has mainly lost more than half of its value in just a matter of three months. And that is an astronomical fall for this ETF. So let's look at DVI. So DVI also pulled back, which was really expected. And so we had this shooting star yesterday and we pulled back and now we're rallying a little bit at the end of the session. So I think that we are going to continue the fall in this ETF until we basically get towards uh, support here at the, the trend line or the middle of the bullish band. So probably the trend line here roughly at 120 uh, is where we'll basically pull back 119, 120. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the stochastic has crossed the signal line, indicating bearish momentum. Uh, RSI is bearish, CCI is becoming bearish, and so is the, the MACD. It's still above the signal line, but it is... Uh, leveling off here and looks like it's going to cross but um, at this current stage we're still in uptrend and basically pullbacks towards support have been buying opportunities at this current stage so yes let's look at the VTI so VGI took a real hammering today so yesterday we fell significantly and today we fell even more significantly so we're down almost 1% at this current stage. We did gap down and then we fell even further. If you look at technical indicators for the CDF, you can see the MACD is uh, very bearish. The RSI is very bearish as well, showing bearish momentum. The CCI is becoming extremely bearish as well, in minus 178. And the stochastic has crossed the signal line, indicating bearish momentum as well. So we are at the bottom of the bullish band. Uh, we could drop even further. We did drop all the way down to 212. Um, but uh, we have the 50 moving average right underneath here, and that has offered massive support in the past. If we were to break the 50 moving average, then the 100 moving average will certainly be where this will technically stop. We have tested it nearly twice here. Didn't really get close to it, but uh, this is kind of oversold conditions where we basically buy into it. So this is a uh, uptrend, and these pullbacks have been basically buying opportunities in the past. So let's look at MCHI. 
So Chinese stock uh, stocks did really well at the end of the US session. As you can see, we are also rallied. But this is probably due to the fact that there have been massively oversold in recent days. So you can see that we are way out, uh, we were way oversold here in the RSI. We're at 32 at the moment. We were significantly outside here in the bullish band, and uh, we have just um, reached the edge of the lower part of the bullish band. So if we were to rally from here, then we'll probably find major resistance at the middle of the bullish band, and that's a rally of 3.4% to the upside. Uh, that probably won't happen. We'll probably continue just rallying and then dropping towards the 300 moving average, which will be major uh, support um, if we get there. The reason why I say that is because the MACD is very bearish, the stochastic is very bearish, and so is the CCI. So also the RSI is still very bearish indeed, even though we have rallied at the end of the US session. So considering the technical indicators, they are very, very bearish indeed. So let's look at IVB. So also here, we uh, got really overstretched uh, yesterday and today we absolutely snapped to the downside. So this is basically a fall from where we were all the way down roughly one point. So but from the highs here all the way down to the bottom, that's a drop of nearly 3%. So massive drop, found support here at the... Uh, at uh, 20 exponential moving average, but we could drop towards the 50 moving average. So if the 20 breaks, then we could drop to the 50 and very similar to, to uh, VTI, this uh, has found support at the 50 and also the 100 moving average. Uh, we have nearly gotten to those points, but not really. So if you look at the other technical indicators, we can see that they are very bearish indeed. Uh, both the stochastic MACD and the RSI and the CCI are all pointing to lower levels. So we need a stabilization here in order to go higher. Otherwise, we'll continue dropping even further to the downside. But the bottom of the bullish band definitely uh, shot this up to the air. So um, yes, hope you found this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And uh, good luck and thank you very much.